YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction video. Uh, uh, I, 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 forewarning, I don't know where my brain, like what sort of level it's functioning functioning at today. Good, good start. Um, it's just like a really hot, we've hit that time of year. In England where I guess summer has descended and we now have to remember that summer seems to be getting hotter every year and yet we still just don't have... AC. Like, I guess that's just not a thing in this country. Someone should uh, get on that, in my personal opinion. It's very hot, and I'm not happy right now. Neither is my brain or any of my internal organs. Um, it throws a boy off. That said, we're doing a reaction today. We've got another David Gilmore Live at Pompeii reaction. We've got High Hopes, which I had a look, and it's from Division Bell, which is not an album that I have uh, done on the channel yet, and therefore this is not a song that I have heard. So it'll be interesting because obviously it's a live performance, but it's also a, a, a new experience of, of the song as well. I do have the lyrics up as well, but um, I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll do better to just focus on the performance of the, the song on this one. Because obviously I've said before, we will work through all of the Pink Floyd eventually. So eventually we will get to this album and this song. So I think I'll talk a little bit more about the song itself and the lyrics and stuff when I get to it then. Um, so that video will still make sense. But I think for now, I'll just focus on the performance. That said, this was a donation request, so um, thank you to Alan for this one. Um, and as I always like to mention, the, the link's always in the description. Obviously, it's always optional, but if you want to get something on, on the channel, uh, you can drop a donation request, and it's always greatly appreciated, especially right now, since, uh, you know, your boy do be in the job point and it do be going not brilliantly. <laughs> so, you know, it, it do be extra appreciated right now, I'll be honest, um, so that your boy can keep buying food and stuff. Um, well, hopefully we'll progress on that front soon. Either way... High hopes. Life in Pompeii. We did, um, we did, uh, Shine on You Crazy Diamond a few, like, last week, if you want to check that out. Okay, let's go. Um, so I have seen some of this performance, this show. Um, yeah, incredible stuff. We already know that. I'm excited. It's so hot. Oh my god. The bell's interesting. It's a little different. Beyond the horizon, oh. the place we lived when we were young, in a world of magnets and miracles. Just a very like sound filling voice. Our thoughts trade constantly and without boundary. The ringing of the division bell had begun. Yeah, so the bell. Along the long road and on down the causeway. Do they still be there by the cut? There was a ragged band that followed in our footsteps. Running before time took our dreams away. Trying to tie us to the ground To a life consumed by slow decay The grass was green I am interested to delve into this one when, when the time's right The light was bright the, the lyrics are interesting, I'll say that much With friends around The nights of wonder I do feel like this could be one that builds. Like, I feel like. We've like, got to go. I'm interested to see where this song goes. Ooh. Dude, an acoustic solo. Why not? This guy, why not? Yeah, 
Yeah, someone's building that. We're back down. It's interesting, it's kind of like, it's like ominous. It's ominous. Encumbered forever by desire and ambition. It's interesting so far. I also I forgot to mention, but this is maybe the the most recent Floyd that we've done actually, um, because this is 1994, and I think we've everything we've done so far has been before the Division Bell. Um, I've already forgot what I wanted to say, but it's, it's 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 very ominous. It's kind of a little eerie. I'm interested to see where it goes, and I can't wait to do the lyrics on this one when we get to it in, in more depth. But um, yeah, the performance so far, his voice is different. I feel like I feel like it's very. Um, he, it feels a little like lower and more like bellowing than maybe it usually is that's not to say he doesn't usually it feels like he's deliberately carrying his voice a little differently on this one in the way he's approaching the track which very which goes very well with the sort of ominous eerie sound that, he's, that, that, that they're doing with, with, with the instrumentation and stuff um so it's, it's a interesting and b also cool that he can do that like he's changed his vocal style for this i feel like um to match the tone of the song which is really cool Big wheel. The taste was sweet. The nights of wonder. With friends surrounded. The dawn is glowing. The water flows. What the hell is that? Piano as well. Oh, oh! I think the rest of the music is kind of fading a little bit. Is it coming to just him? It's like moving and I don't even know what it is. A 
okay, I just pulled, I think he's done. <sighs> he just played like a 11 out of 10 solo on a fucking table. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looked like it was someone who turned a, gu a guitar into a table, I guess is the best way. Please, people who are smarter than me, inform me as to what that instrument is because I want to get one right now. Um, except probably not right now, but maybe in the future. <laughs> Hopefully at some point, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, that was, uh, he just did his thing, but, like, not on a gu guitar. He did it on whatever the hell that thing was. Uh, like, it doesn't, uh, that probably would have blown my mind uh, at, like, peak brain capacity. So the fact that I'm, like, barely functioning right now in this horrific heat, I, like, I don't know how to p process what I've just, my brain doesn't, like, I can't, <laughs> Can you see in the background? Oh, my gloves. I just it whips out an acoustic guitar like it's nothing and it's still perfect. So I wonder if that was the end of the show, because it, it's the last um, track on, on the album. It, it'd be interesting to hear... Thank you very welcome. much. What a lovely evening. Grazie mille. We're going to take a short yeah. break now. Go and have a cup of tea. European tea. Um, we'll be back. 15 minutes, grazie mille, grazie. Going for a brew, innit? Just going for a brew. Um, unreal, unreal. I, I'd be very interested to hear that song in the context of the album, obviously with it being the last song on the album as well. Um, I guess, you know, with Floyd, a lot of their music on their albums, a lot of their tracks lead into the next track, so I guess I don't have to worry about that context being missing because it's the end of the album. Um, very interested to hear how that sounds, uh, you know, what the tone of the rest of the album and, and what the lyrical content of the rest of the album is. And obviously, as I said, I'll talk about the lyrical content of that song um, when we get to it in, in the studio version. And I'm very excited now to do the studio version of this at some point. Yeah, okay. I, I, so I don't want to go into that too much because we'll, I think that'll, that'll serve better when we do the studio version. But as far as the performance goes... Yeah, I, he just like... Uh, like... It, it's, uh, He's known for being like one of the best guitarists on, on electric guitar, and then the fact that he could just do that with an acoustic guitar was incredible, both the first solo and the second solo to close it out. And as I said, whatever that like table guitar thing was, was just he absolutely flawless. The, the, his talent knows no bounds, and the fact that he can do it on like multiple levels to multiple different degrees, just kind of without even like thinking about it and he's like humble about it too uh, 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 from what i can tell but also from what people have said it's like yeah he's just he's ridiculously good he's ridiculously good and it's really cool as well i think that these are like pink floyd songs but they're, they're like cool with him as a band that it's cool for like him to do it and the fact that he can you know carry the songs of his own merit as well obviously he has like a, a supporting band and and stuff with him um, but yeah, the fact that he, he can do so well to, to, to perform them as, as David Gilmore and, and not as Pink Floyd as well, I think says a lot about his, his uh, ability as a, as a musician and, and how well he can do his thing. 
Um, and yeah, like I said, he's just a great performer. Like I said, he um, like he just like I, th I think right at the very start when I hit play, I was about to start reading the comments, but it's, I just realized it's auto played onto a different video now. So these are comments to a different video. <laughs> Um, as I said right at the start, as soon as he started singing, his voice just like filled everything. And again, I said he, it felt like his voice, he took like a different vocal approach to that one to fit kind of the tone of the song, uh, which is incredible, by the way. Um, but the fact that it's like not even like what I feel like is his usual voice, and yet it's still like immediately was like, oh shit, he, this is really good. Like he was, he was filling like the stadium, he was filling the, the sound they were going for, which was insane. Incredible performance, I absolutely can crush it on... At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he can play anything with a string. Give him, give him a violin and see what he does. He'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just, just. Or I guess it's in the fingers. Maybe harp. Maybe he'd be good at harp. I reckon he'd be good at harp. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's very warm. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, Alan, again for for the donations. Uh, and once again, I'm sorry it took you so long to get around to doing them both. It's just been like a really busy month. I think I'm back on the horse now, so I'm I'm like pretty back into the recording things. Hopefully, over this. Hopefully, as of, like I mean, I said this like a couple of days ago. Hopefully, we're back in the in the groove again. Um, um, so uploads should be back to being daily, and hopefully, won't be like things when requests and stuff won't be waiting for forever. They should be up in like a couple of days or so. That said, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all for joining me. I'm excited to do that song at some point. We will do Division Valve at some point. Obviously, I need to get through to the wall. Um, I was just waiting for the right time to actually be able to sit down and record it because I've, I've just not really had a chance. But hopefully, I should have the chance. Or hopefully, I should be able to do that and get that finished soon. Um, I'm just waiting for the right time because I want to, when I do the next episode, I don't want it to be four months until the next episode after that comes out. Uh, I want to try and get the next episode up and then have the next part and the next part like a week or two apart max so we can try and get that album finished but i will be finishing the wall at some point don't worry and then we'll continue on with the rest of floyd because it's just been too long and i like i listen to them like regularly in my spare time the albums i've done wish you were here uh, i was listening to animals the other day i still listen to metal um uh, parts of the w songs from the wall of what we've done so far Dark Side of the like i listen to floyd in my spare time so i want to carry on listening to the rest of this stuff um it's just been difficult but i will get to those thank you guys for watching appreciate you all and i'll see you in the next episode Later, guys. Bye.